tickets on me, I'm in the front row. The best place to be, I'm in the front row. Adjusted to the college atmosphere, I would say. Uh, but it wasn't too intense. But we, we just gotta adapt to it, you know what I'm saying? We gotta we gotta bring it more during this practice. We, I gotta step up as a leader and bring more out of people and bring the best out of people and make sure that they're prepared to practice, you know what I'm saying? We can't come out here slacking no more. We can't be out, out here giving up big runs and big plays. I don't like that being the team captain. So. What's most fun about some of those one on one drills when you guys get in there? Quarterback <laughs> No, I just like talking. I just like talking less to, to them after I make a play. You know what I'm saying? Get them to scan a little bit. Uh, that's about it. You know, it's just fun working on my craft every day and going up against these guys. So all these guys are some studs, and uh, I just love playing football. How would you categorize the intensity for these first seven practices? I'm here with you. One through ten. Yeah. I say. Like a seven. Uh, we need to be at a ten at all times. I say to be a good defense or to be a good team. Period. Offense or defensive wise. Uh, but you know it's still early. We still got a lot more practices to go. Like I said, we got a young team. We still we still got a lot of good young guys. I got to figure it out and stuff like that. I know their role. Point Dexter and uh, Benjamin are two big receivers that you're going up against a lot. What do they bring to the table? Is it a good challenge working against guys like that? I mean, they got good hands. And once you guard a big receiver, sometimes you can get, uh, cover them best you can. But since they're so big, they, they tend to box, uh, box you out a little bit. But, uh, so that's what they bring to the table. Just, you know, size and hands and, and route running, I guess you could say. You feel it's good preparation for some of the receivers you'll see in the pack? Oh, yeah, of course, for sure. Um, they work me out every day. They come hard. They're ready to practice. And, you know, we're, we're all competitors here. So, you know what I'm saying? We try to push each other to be the best we can be. How would you grade your season? My season last year, I can't really give it a grade, but I'd probably say like a C. Um, it was a lot of ups and downs. I felt like early in the season I was I was doing my job, and then towards the end of the season I kind of fell off a little bit. Uh, I never got discouraged, but, it, you know, it just comes with experience, you know what I'm saying? But this year I'd be way more prepared, uh, and I'm looking forward to it. Was it fatigue just in never having had that amount of plays in one season? To be honest, it kind of was a little bit of fatigue. Uh, so, I mean, once I get fatigued, I tend to kind of – shy away from my technique um, so at times that that happened during the season but like I said with, with that kind of more experience you tend to pick up on new techniques and stuff you can do once you get tired or, or tell them one of your safeties you know uh, help me up on, on this play take away the inside for me stuff like that so communication skills I got to step up and, and this uh, this year I'm working more on my conditioning. What did winning that last game do for this team to galvanize the offseason? I mean, anytime you get a W, you know, you're happy about it. Uh, it's just it's just better. I felt like it made people understand that we're not as bad as we think we are, you know what I'm saying, or they say we are. We have a lot of good players on this team, and we, and we could uh, win a lot of games. We just got to prepare well, and we got to bring it to the table. What's it uh, like uh, with Coach Hates? Um, back to... I mean, Coach Hates is more of a calmer coach. Uh, but he just loves technique. He, he makes sure that your technique is right at all times, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, but Coach Dante, I can't say nothing wrong about Coach Dante. He was a great coach too, you know what I'm saying? They're both great coaches. So once you get another good coach, you're just learning something something new from him, you know what I'm saying? It's just vice versa. The last season, you never gave up on a play, ever. Yeah. And you're the type of I, all season long, I was trying to say to myself, he's got to rub off on people. Yeah. Like, when, when everybody gave up on the play, there you were. You ran all the way and you got him right before the touchdown. Like, you saved the touchdown and then the next play, yeah. sometimes I got a touchdown. So what is that in you that you need to rub off on other people? Like, how does, you don't, that mentality to me is, is something that this team needs. Well, you know, uh... That was, I got that from my coach, my DB coach, Coach Dante Williams. He told me to push it at all times. There's a lot of people always watching like, everywhere in the world, you know what I'm saying? Everything is televised. Uh, so I just never give up on the play. That's just my mentality. Um, I've always been like that since a young kid, though. Um, I've been just, just my support system always taught me to be like that. So, you know, it's, it's not really anything new to me. Uh -huh. I just do it. It's not something that I think of doing. I just do it. You know what I'm saying? So, so how are you going to get the rest of your squad to feel the same way? Because I think if you were all at your level of never giving up on a play, I think a lot of good things would happen for the Well, yeah, that's my team. leadership role that I'm stepping up to this year. Uh, 
I'm just trying to push everybody to be the best that it can be, and we got to step up conditioning-wise. Um, we got to step it up intensity-wise. I mean, if you go hard during practice, it's going to pay off in the games because you're going to go hard in the games. If you're, if you're slacking off in the practice, you can't expect to go hard in the games. It just doesn't work like that, you know what I'm saying? So you got to go 110% anytime you step up on this field, and that's how I always think. And do you have a message for Wildcat fans? Stay tuned. Stay, Stay tuned. tuned. I like season. that. All right. And Smooth is your nickname? Yeah. or Okay, Smooth. All right. Appreciate All right. it. I'm in the front row with my two tickets. On me, I'm in the front row. With the best place to be. I'm in the front row. Best place to be. Yeah. You wanna find me, yo. I'm in the front row. With my two tickets. On me, I'm in the front row. With the best place to be. I'm in the front row. Best place to be. Yeah. So what's colder than ice and even hotter than a flame? I be in the front row, chilling out.